Oh, shit, motherfucker. Look at this. Look at this big box. Woo. I received this box today from my boy, Loophole572 on YouTube. Go check him out. He's a cool kid. I love him. He's my son. So, he sent me a box of a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming I have no clue what the hell is in this. It's a big bitch. So this might be a long video. But first, before I start, even if it's like a bomb or some shit, thank you Loophole for sending it to me. Uh, if it's a bomb, then quick death, you know, whatever. That's what that's all I can ask for. But if it's a bunch of cool stuff, thank you too. That's cool. I like that. But let's get to it, okay? Cuz I'm actually really excited to check out what's in here, okay? Hey? Right? I've been waiting for this box. So thank you again, Loophole. Um I'm going to assume he went to the, uh, what is it called, the PlayStation Experience, uh, and I think he mentioned something about getting a couple things from there for me, so I'm excited to check it out, um, see what he got here, but besides that, I have no idea what else is in this box, so I put it on the table, I'm going to start opening it, okay? Alright, I'm excited, mm, yeah, 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 you know, I'll put it on my lap, hold on, make sure I don't show any, uh, labels or anything come on come on I can't you put a lot of tape on this bitch Woo. make sure it doesn't open Woo. god there's a lot of tape on that bitch alright come on it could also be my scissors are dull I don't know I've tried to open boxes before with these scissors and it doesn't it almost always gives me a hard time alright here we go now I'm gonna open this bitch I'm not, I'm not gonna look at it I'm gonna let you guys look in it, just real quick, all right? Just, just quick, all right? Here you go, get that. You get a little sneak peek. Oh, that's all you get. That's all you get. Now I'm gonna put it on this table. All right, make sure I didn't show anything. I did. Good. All right, and oh my God, send me bubble mailers or bubble, whatever. You know, you know what these are. Oh my God, I love these. I love these. Thank you. I mean, that was a good box. Thank you, man. Oh, there's more shit. What is this? Alright, first things first. Oh, cool. He sent me a little mask from Wonder Boy, the Dragon's Trap, which uh, I think I have that. I do. I have that. Um, is that is that Wonder the Dragon's Trap? Yeah, it is. I just got this from Limited Run Games, actually. I wonder if that's where he got this from. Limited Run Games uh, had a collector's edition of this, and I bought it. So now I would put this on, but then I wouldn't be able to see. So maybe I'll put it on later. Next is, oh, for the PS2, Over the Hedge. Look at that. Oh, boy, is it complete? It's complete. Look at that. I don't have this one, so I'm going to put that in my PS2 collection. That's a rare game. That's worth, like, at least four bucks. It's good. You know, in, like, 1920s money, that would be a lot of money. All right? So, it's rare back then. Oh, wait, there's a, there's a note. All right. I didn't see this one. Okay. Dear Gore, it's been nearly a decade since I first came across your YouTube channel. It's been almost a decade since it started, too, yeah. Uh, and half a decade since we became friends. I love you, man. I love you, too, my son. As well as Adrian, Sigma, Guru, Gory, Ledoux. Samuel Ledoux, that's uh, Samuel to Geek. Uh, and, and, Mag oh, and, and Magus for PS3. That's a great game. I hope you enjoy my 2017 patented, patented hashtag gore crate and find all the secret goodies inside. Leave nothing unchecked because there are surprises everywhere. L uh, like last year, I got you something from PlayStation Experience and hope you like the PSX exclusive. Oh, I can't. I, I can't. I, I don't want to read this. At the top. This year, I have arranged the items, media, DVDs, games, etc. And the right posters in the middle. I think this is it. The various miscellaneous items on the right have fun dissecting the contents inside and I hope you'll is this a... I don't know what this is this betting what the hell? a mystery unboxing having I guess making making a mystery unboxing that's not what it says but that's pretty much what he's saying love Kyle and then he put his little signature XOXOXOXO hashtag gore's a meme hashtag they win they win hashtag shinmu3 hashtag 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 J uh, kangaroo jack good day usa hashtag i love you hashtag lucha fury hashtag speedrunning halo 3 uneasy hashtag door sounds hashtag sigma the ad playing god hashtag who is loophole that's a lot of uh inside memes right there you're not gonna understand okay 
Oh, and it says everything. Uh, check everywhere, it says. There you go. Thank you, Lupo. Now let's get into it. He said there's an exclusive thing in there that makes me really excited. All right, next thing in here is, oh, fuck, Spy Kids 3D Game Over. Look at that. He said check everywhere, so we're going to be checking inside here. All right, it is Spy Kids 3D. There's nothing, nothing in there. I'm really checking. Let's see. Uh, no, it's just Spy Kids 3D. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and now I got a complete copy of Spy Kids 3D. This is a nice copy, man. It's a really good condition. Almost like it's never been watched. I don't know why. Wait, hold on. Where's the 3D glasses? Oh, I got ripped. God damn. Oh, it's a collector series, too. I am a collector, so... I'll be going in there. That's for show. Oh, yeah. I love this movie. Uh, Dana Carvey in The Master of Disguise. Hell, yeah. Uh, uh, Pistachio Disguise. That's his name. Uh, uh, turtle, turtle. Remember? That was funny. Let's see what's in here. Oh, no. It's Masters of Disguise. There you go. He made sure to give me these movies. Definitely. Great. I love this movie. It's great. It has a 1% on Rotten Tomatoes. I love it. He's got a turtle guy, George W. Bush, Pistachio. That's just him. Terry Suave, Gammy Num Nums. It says 1,000 faces. I think there's only five. And one of them is just fucking him. So, I guess, yeah, I guess you can count that as a... Wait, hold on. I saw something cool. Oh, this is dope. Mad Max exclusive car. Uh, collectible vehicle. Sorry. Is this, uh, is this supposed to be the... Um... Uh, what is it? What are you making? Your grand opus or uh, whatever magnum opus? That's what you're trying to make. Um, it doesn't look like the Imper uh, the uh, pursuit special, or what's the other word? I mean, what's the other um, name for it? I forgot. Pursuit special and the uh, whatever. Fuck it. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. I'm gonna be keeping that. That's for damn sure. I mean, I'm gonna keep all this stuff. What am I gonna do with it? Next. Damn, he sent me a lot of DVDs. <laughs> Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2. I, this one is actually, this one's really good. I love this movie. I love it. It's so good. Oh, God. It's a family edition, so again, it's exclusive. There you go. It's complete. Yeah, thank God for that. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. It's, it's Super Baby Geniuses. Okay. Super Babies, Baby Geniuses 2. I thought it was the original. Like, he was tricking me. Oh, fuck yeah. Alvin and the Chipmunks to Squeakle. Let me see. Oh shit. Well, it's definitely it's definitely one of those eco case ones, so that's good. I'm I'm all about saving the environment, you know. Uh, but it is it is the it is the movie. I was about to say the game. There you go. I love I love Alvin and Chipmunks. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got a game. I don't think I have this on PS One. Monopoly. Wait, hold on. It is Monopoly. There you go. He's keeping me guessing. Like, oh, is it? It is. I don't think I have this one. So I have a pretty big PS1 collection, and this one is not in there. So now it is. Thank you, Lupo, for that one. Uh, thank you for everything else, too. I mean, all this is great, especially the baby geniuses. Uh, next is Drawn to Life SpongeBob SquarePants. I actually liked the original Drawn Together. I mean, Drawn Together. That's a, that's a show. Um, Drawn to Life on the DS. I thought it was kind of cool. Oh, wait. Hold on. There's a secret in there. What is that? Oh, shit. Are you serious? Wait, what? Look at this. Captain Underpants. Uh, ten songs. Hilarious songs plus all the words to sing along. Groovy video game. Print your own poster and other cool stuff. Awesome animated music video all about Dav Pilkey, the guy that wrote it. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but extra crunchy CD of fun. Oh, it's extra crunchy. Sounds good. Um, and it did come, it, this did come complete, by the way. Captain Underpants. That's awesome. So, yeah, there, there's a surprise right there. Alright, next is Diner Dash Flow on the Go. Remember, remember Diner Dash? That was huge. Oh, shit. I opened it. No game, but it has Scooby Doo's Scooby Doo and the Toon Tour of Mysteries. Look at that. It occurs to Cowardly Dog. Look at that. Why is he there? <coughs> disc 3. Does it just have a bunch of cartoons or is it like a CD disc? I mean, a PC disc. It's from a Kellogg's cereal box, I'm assuming, but it says disc three. I don't know, actually. It doesn't say if it's a DVD or not. Like, uh, cartoon related, da, da, da. disc three. I don't know. Looks like, looks like a, looks like a CD. There you go. Thank you. No game though, but I might, 
I don't know. I'm going to look and see if I can find that complete. Because uh, I like Diner Dash, actually. I like the original. I don't know about Flow on the Go. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, I guess she goes to other places. Oh, shit. Is that Game Boy Advance game? Oh, Daredevil Game Boy Advance. I have a pretty good inbox Game Boy Advance collection, including... <laughs> I got this from my boy Adrian. I got Bugly Martians brand new. Now I have Daredevil, the the movie game. Of course, not the not the new show. That won't make any sense. But that's my boy uh, Batfleck right there. He, he donned the red tights before he donned the uh, just whatever the fuck it gray tights. So yeah, I don't know. Um, and uh, oh, he got Colin Farrell. There you go. I forgot he played Bullseye. So there you go. I should open this because he said check everything. All right, no game in it. Let's see, any secrets? I think there might be secrets. No, no secrets. No secrets, just the manual is complete, except it doesn't have the game, so it's not complete. But I think I can find that game pretty cheap. Oh, I might want to complete that, actually. It's a nice box. That's a nice box. I love me, I don't know why, but I love me some Game Boy Advance boxes. I don't know why, they look so good, even if it's not a good game. I don't know why, I just love the boxes. So there you go, it's another game. Oh, there's another one. What's this one? Planet Monsters. The shit is that? I've never even heard of that one. There you go, Planet Monsters. It's a nice box, man. Keep your shit in good condition. Um, let's see, any secrets in this one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I smell a secret. No, no secrets. Uh, oh, I think the game... No, the game's not in there. Any secrets? Do I smell a secret? Oh, there you go. Jimmy Neutron manual. There you go. I smell. I smelt the secret. Now it makes me wonder if there was a secret in that Daredevil one because I did get what looks like a poster in that one. And thinking about it, it doesn't really make sense that Daredevil would have a poster in it because, like, who gives a shit about Daredevil? But also, as I remember, I think a lot of those games... Oh, shit. Wait, hold on. You got a lot of stuff here. Hold on. What is this? Damn. Is this is this poster belong in there? Prehistoric Man and Cow and the Kangaroo. I actually remember this game. I don't remember Prehistoric Man though. Look at that. I don't know if that belongs in there. It looks like a poster that would belong in a game called uh, Planet Monsters or whatever. Fuck. So maybe that just belongs in there. But it is complete except it doesn't have the game. But that's pretty cool too. That's awesome. I'll be adding those to my collection. Even if the game's not in it. That's cool. I, I love me some boxes. That's a really obscure game because I've never heard of Planet Monsters. That's cool. Thank you. Put that over here. What is this? Is that the Simpsons movie soundtrack? What's in it though? Nothing. It has Bart butt though. Uh, I was hoping for Bart dick. That's sucks. Remember when it showed his dick? That was weird. <laughs> that was very weird, but no, I got the CD, I mean the uh, case for the Simpsons movie soundtrack. Wait, hold on. I just noticed this. Hold on. Right underneath uh, Alvin and Chipmunks the Squeakwell was Schindler's List on Blu-ray. Look at that. I actually have this version, I think. Except, the thing is that it's not that, it's... Postal. I, I, you know what? To be fair, they're very similar movies if you think about it. Oh, how do you? Why? Okay, hold on. Why do you actually have this? I mean, I guess you don't anymore. Now I have it. But I open it and I notice immediately. Of course, you have Postal the movie right here, which is horrible, right there. And then you got the Postal Two video games, the Share the Pain expansion, I think. So that's kind of cool, because I actually do enjoy Postal 2, the game. It's 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 bad, but it's like one of those games where you like... It's a, it's a guilty pleasure, and I shouldn't admit that I like it. But I do like pissing on people, just in general, you know what I mean? So there you go. I'm a, I'm a Donald Trump, you know what I mean? You know, Golden Showers, remember that? Remember when he did that? Oh, well. I'm a little late on the references. That's cool. Now I have uh, Postal, the movie. Is it actually the movie, movie or is it a... No, it is. It's the movie. Okay, I was wondering if it's the, uh... Oh, wait, actually, no, I didn't even see that. It says it says it actually does come with the game. Complete PC video game posted. Oh, shit. That's... <laughs> That's surprising. I thought you just put a fucking disc in there, and I thought maybe there was, like, a special features disc, and he just replaced that with the actual Postal 2 game. 
That's really cool. All right, cool. Thank you. At least half of this is good. So there you go. Wow, man, a lot of shit in this box. All right, next is... Oh, yeah, this is a great game. 007 Everything or Nothing. I had this on GameCube and I had it on GBA. GBA was awesome, too. I, I was surprised by how good it was. I'm sure it's not going to be the game, though. Oh, it is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's in good condition, too. I love this game. I actually don't have it on PS2. So there you go. Another PS2 game I don't have in my collection. Look at that. Thank you. Put it over there. All right. What is this? What the fuck? Are you serious? He sent me a bunch of shit. Wow. Look at this. A little box of butters. Keep out, please. What's, what season is this? Oh, my God. Oh, it has a bunch of shit in it. All right. Hold on. It says... Butters, grade four, all that stuff. But then I open it and it has the Matrix, a thing of ketchup. See, you never know when you need it. Uh, a band that says WWBD. What would Barack? No, not Barack Obama. BD. Who's BD? What? Well, what would? But. Be, but Bob Dylan do that's what it is no because there's no D an extra D for do so maybe it's just what would Bob do I don't know I'm trying to figure it out but all right and there's a pin here that says oh Inspector Butters okay so that belongs in there there you go wait hold on you hear that I put the thing down and then something made a noise I don't know if you guys heard that all right there you go Inspector, Inspector Butters. Now I'm gonna try to do it, Butters. Never mind. <laughs> right, right on my, right on my Buster sword. All right. So you got the Matrix. Bam. We'll look at that in a second and see if it actually is a Matrix. Then you actually get a. Uh, it looks like a bunch of stuff that actually belongs in here. Is this supposed to be like a season box set or something? Actually, I actually don't know. Oh, it is. Look. Oh. Disc one, Butters' very own episode. There you go. Disc 2. It comes with a Coon, uh, Coon and Friends. Or the Coon. Just the Coon. Um, Majorine. Uh, so this is like... The Coon was a kind of like a... a fuck. I don't know what season it was. But it wasn't the Coon invented... Uh, not invented. But he, he showed up in like 2008, 2009. I don't know what season that would be though. Because I'm not caught up at all. Like I haven't watched South Park in a long time. I think the last time I watched a, a full season of South Park was right before um, my hair looks all messed up. It's all sticking up. I need to get a haircut, man. Shit sucks. But the last time I watched a, a full season of South Park was right before Stick of Truth came out. And, um... I'm trying to remember what season it was. I think it was like season 17. Yeah, whatever. It was the one... No, was it? Was it the... It might have been the one where, um... Carmen puts, uh... I don't want to spoil it. Puts the guy's family in the, in the chili. I ain't going to say who, just in case. Uh, which I don't know if that's season 17. But I remember watching that episode. Um, uh, in that uh, marathon I watched. The poop that took a pee. I remember that. <laughs> the poop that took a pee. <laughs> I should look at this. but There you go. That's, a, that's great. That they included that. Yeah, best in state. Arrive in Lincoln. Alright, so I need to watch more South Park, obviously. Now that, oh, wait, let's see if uh, see if this is Matrix. It is the Matrix. There you go. So now I have a VHS copy of the Matrix. I love the Matrix, so I'll take a copy of that. Alright. Whoa, hold on. Oh, shit. Are you serious? <laughs> hey, there's a lot of stuff in here. Sorry if this unboxing seems sloppy, but there's a lot of shit in here. Something keeps making noise in this bitch. Alright. First is, uh, oh, speaking of South Park, here's South Park Stick of Truth Ultimate Fellowship Pack. Uh, here you go. I don't know if this is used already, but there you go. If anybody wants to use it, there you go. There you go. You get a bunch of, uh, you get costumes. There you go. Enjoy. Um, oh, you get a, a two months free of Xbox free trial. Look at that. Except it's not used either. I actually have a couple of these in some of my older Xbox games. Uh, I think I still have one in one of my copies of Halo 2 that I got like a yard sale or something. And it was like completely in there and it was still good. Except, you know, I mean it expired, but it was still unscratched is what I meant. 
Of course those expired. Uh, don't lose this card. Multiplayer access card. Remember that shit? You had to... Uh, you had to put those passes in just to play the fucking multiplayer. If you if you got it used, you're screwed, I guess. Yeah, or you have to pay an extra ten bucks. Stupid. There you go. You got the Call of Duty World at War stuff. Uh, and then game add-on content for Resident Evil 5. Which, what is this? Um... It's just bonus content, that's all it says. Exclusively for use with Resident Evil 5 Gold Edition. Huh. Next is on DVD Wild Hogs. Whew, this is a bad movie. I loved it. It's so good. There we go. Let's see what's inside it. Did you guys hear it that time? Alright, it's Wild Hogs. It is Wild Hogs. With a little, looks like a poster maybe, like a mini poster. I don't know what that is. No, it's, a, it's just a warranty thing. Uh, and the Wild Hog Sweepstakes. There you go. You can get a, get a Harley Davidson just for yourself. If you want to have a, a Harley Davidson. Mm, if I, I get to look as cool as uh, Martin Lawrence, then hell yeah! Who else is in this? William H. Macy's in it too. John Travolta, Tim Allen. I don't know why, but that movie did extremely well, and I'm still confused on how. That if that movie came out now, that movie would bomb. No one would see it. No one would ever heard of it. Like they probably be people be in the theater for whatever movies out, like Star Wars, and they'd see Wild Hog. They'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" Oh, whatever, Star Wars. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Got a are these blow up things? Capcom Pro Tour. I'm assuming this is a PSX thing for this year, or maybe last year. It says PS4. I guess they blow up. I don't know. Oh. Wait, what? I'm confused. Uh, bang together to make noise. Well, it's good that he provided two of them so I can do that. There you go. Look at that. I don't know how to blow them up, though. I would do that if I could. Well, well here. Let, let's make some noise. I mean, they make noise. Yeah. Oh, here it is. All right, this is the thing that uh, he told me he got, which is fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Because I was originally going to get this for limited run games, but they sold out like that. And I was like, oh, the only thing that was available was the collector's edition, and I did not have enough money for it. So I was like, you know what? I'll just skip on it, I guess. Maybe I'll get lucky on eBay later on when I have money, you know. But um, thank you so much for sending this to me. This is Nex Machina. Nex Machina. From limited run games that's really awesome thank you so much for getting this this must have been at least like a 30 dollars game so thank you so much that's really really cool that you got me that and i will be adding this to my really big limited run games collection and uh maybe i'll even open it just to play it huh? you let me know what you want me to do loophole do you want me to play it I, I heard it's really good but if you want me to keep it just in my collection i will i will open it too if you want me to um there i think this game was on sale the other day for 15 so i don't know I heard this game's great. It's one of the best games of this year. Um, so thank you so much for that. That's really cool. All this other stuff is great, too. I, 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 I mean, I love Wild Hogs. So, Ow. Next is... Is that an unopened copy of Minecraft on Xbox 360? Look at that. I don't actually have that on 360. How do you know all the shit I have and don't have? Because I don't have that. That's really cool. And, you know, I'm assuming there's no secrets in here because you can't open it. That's really cool. Thank you so much. Wow. I don't know what to say, man, except thank you. I mean, if you want, I can come over there and and do the job proper, if you know what I mean. I'll give you real thanks if you want. Oh, shit, hold on. Duke Nukem Forever. Wait, what is it? Oh, it's just an add-on. It's, I mean, yeah, it's just an ad for add-on content. Didn't they just release, like, one DLC for this game? So why the fuck does it say bodacious add-on content? Come get some this summer. Like, I guess add-on content means only one thing, so I guess bodacious. I don't, know. I don't know about that. Um, Darkness 2, extremely underrated game. Love that game so much. Um, oh shit! You got me a, you got me a cookie. Look at that cookie connection. Cookieconnection.com. What is this? Uh, it is a, it's an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Should I eat it? I don't got any milk. Let's eat it. Let's do it. There you go. Ooh, it's soft. Look at this. Here, I'll break a piece off. Wow. Alright. I like oatmeal, and I like chocolate chips. So, let's do it.
That's a good cookie. I will admit, I'm not a big fan of cold cookies. I know that sounds weird. I like my cookies a little warm, like room temperature, or just hot, like fresh out of the oven. That's a good cookie. Mm, that's better than the cookie I got. I remember I got a cookie. Uh, yeah, hold on. I need to, I need to comb my hair. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow, I fucked it all up. That, that looks so bad. Look at that. I need to get a haircut, man. It's ridiculous. Whew, but I remember I got a cookie from uh, some convention a few years ago, and it was like the worst thing ever. It was a, it was a peanut butter, bacon, and s some fucking other thing uh, cookie, and it was the grossest shit I've ever had. And I can't remember what convention I went to, but uh, I'll try to look for it. Maybe I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch me eat that and die. What's this? Oh shit, Call of Duty Black Ops! Damn, he, he gave me a lot of shit. That's complete too. Uh, I think I have Call of Duty Black Ops though. So that's really awesome though. Thank you. Actually, I might give this, if it's okay with you, I might give this to my kid uh, cousin because he really likes Call of Duty. I don't think he has this. He does have an Xbox One and it is backwards compatible. Next. Oh shit. I got another copy of Call of Duty Black Ops! Is this one in there? No, it's not. So an extra case for it. You got a... What is this? Exclusive Minecon 2011 uh, Avatar Cape. <laughs> cool. Cool. I love Minecon. It makes some of the cringiest videos possible. Uh, also, I didn't know Minecon was a thing in 2011. Uh, isn't that the year Minecon... I mean, Minecraft actually officially came out? I think it is. So there you go. I'm sorry, I still have pieces of that cookie in my mouth. Actually, I should look in this box real quick because I didn't really give it a, a thorough look. No, there's nothing else. Nothing else in this one, but thank you so much. I may give it to my cousin. Actually, I don't have the box. I know this sounds stupid, but I don't have the box that says best selling uh, Xbox 360 game of all time. So, And also, I don't think I have the box that has that. The little, the, I guess the, the newish look to the Xbox 360 games. I don't think it has that, so I might actually... I don't know. I'll give it to my cousin, but I'll, I might keep that uh, empty bot. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops. <laughs> Why do you have so many Black Ops? And this one's complete. Where are you getting all these from? What is this from? <laughs> Why do you have so many Black Ops games? I mean, one of them's gone, but you. <laughs> Why? Where? All right. Cool. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Did I check that one thoroughly? Make sure. I did. Oops. I'm like dropping shit. There's a lot. I did. There's nothing else in there. Wow. <sighs> okay. I'm not even. I'm not even close to done. Okay. Next is the Midnight Horror Collection Puppet Master One, Two, and Three. I love the Puppet Master movies. Those are so freaking dumb. And it's all on one disc, so you know that's probably going to be a very high quality uh, edition of these three movies. Uh, I actually just picked up. Um, some of the later Puppet Master movies recently at a yard sale, so that's really cool. Now I got the first three. The first one's really great, actually. It's a it's a really really underrated horror movie. It's not, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not really good, but it's it's fun. It's it's really good in the sense like Phantasm is a really fun movie, but it's not really good, you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Whatever. It's a fun film. Next is ooh. the slipcover for The World's End, which actually I don't think I have the slipcover for that. I do have the movie. I don't have the slipcover, I don't think. So there you go. Slipcover for the world's end. Great film. Oh, wait. Oh, and here's the Simpsons music soundtrack. I found it. Hold on. Let me complete it. Wait, hold on. I dropped all the stuff. Hold on. Now, it's like a scavenger hunt. There you go. Now, I got it. Complete. Now I'm whole again. Just like this donut. There you go. All right, wait, hold on. Holy shit. Just in time for the holiday season, Jack Frost. This movie, just like that Killer Snowman one with the same name, is terrifying. Wait, hold on. Okay. Let me make sure. Okay. It's Jack Frost. I have a feeling maybe he found a VHS copy of that Killer Snowman one and put it in here instead. But it's not. It's a PG one. Awesome. Michael Keaton's best role. Birdman? Snowman, that's why I say. Alright, next. Oh, here's a card for... Oh, card for PlayStation Experience 2017. This is a really 
really, really good box. Thank you so much. There's a lot of really awesome shit in here. Oh my god. Here's Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron for the Game Boy Advance. I actually had that game when I was younger. It wasn't good. A lot of these kind of games weren't good because they're all platformer games. I can't remember if that one was a platformer though. I think it might have been a top-down game. I can't remember. But, um, ooh, here's another Game Boy Advance game. Oh, here's Daredevil. Now I got it complete. There you go. It's a, it's a scavenger hunt, really. Like you find half of something, go find the other half. It's somewhere in here. Next is, oh, shit. It's a, a Pidgey. No, it's a Pidgey turning into a Pidgeotto. Whoa. I think I had a couple of these cards in the past, too. Um, uh, yeah. That's... That's something I remember, I think. <laughs> do I do I remember that? What the shit is these? Hold on. Oh, Alright, hold on. Why 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 do you why did you send me this? You sent me Alright, hold on. Oh, oh, I love that one. Hold on. You sent me not one poster for Sonic Forces, you sent me two. Three. Four. Four posters of Sonic Forces. I guess they couldn't get rid of these. Thank you. I'm sure these were like one of those free things you just take off a, a table or something at a convention. Or maybe you had to pre-order something. Sometimes that's what conventions do. They ask you to pre-order shit. I'm sure that's not what they did though. Because I, I don't see you pre-ordering that game four times to get four posters. <laughs> four Sonic Forces posters. I don't know where I could put four Sonic Forces posters. This one I love the hell... Yes, I don't know why it says logo not final. That kind of that's kind of annoying. But oh, what? Are you fucking serious? Accounting and he got this signed by Justin Roiland. Are you fucking serious? Is that real? Is that a real signature? It looks like a real signature. I I know I I I think I did I see you uh, meet him at one point too. On Twitter, I thought I saw a picture of you and him together making out. I'm just making shit up. But, oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That's really cool. Justin Roland, of course, from Rick and Morty fame and, I guess, accounting, too. I haven't played accounting yet uh, on PS4 or PSVR. It just came out a couple days ago, and I really want to. Now, this makes me really want to. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I got something signed by Justin Roland. Thank you. Holy shit. I might make love to this box. Next is... Oh shit, limited a collector's edition of The Fate of the Furious. Look at this. Oh my lord, but what's in it? Is it actually a Fate of the Furious? It is. It's, <laughs> it's the Fate of the Furious. Is it, is it the actual movie? Let's see, it's probably Baby Geniuses. No, it's Fate of the Furious. Oh, I showed the code. Alright, that's, that's, that's fine if I did. Uh, it's, it's the DVD copy of Fate of the Furious. But that's awesome either way. Thank you. Holy shit. I'm sure I used that code already. But, um, wow. Collector's edition, too. That's cool. Thank you. What makes it collector's edition, though? I guess it's a different cover. Awesome. Thank you. I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I mean, I didn't love it like some people, but it is a very enjoyable film. I wish it ended a little bit earlier, though. I don't actually have it, too. Um, oh, it's a scratch-off. Oh, shit. He lost, though. That's, that's a shame. Wait, did he lose? Let's see. Yeah, he lost. I, w I wouldn't be seeing this if you want. <laughs> oh, you would have won 30 bucks too if you, uh. I don't know. Get three rows of nine. Yeah, yeah. Dreams of a symbol in the bonus box for a chance to win triple your prize. Yeah. He, he didn't win. That's sad. But maybe next time. Um, here's a PS2 game. Oh, Karaoke Revolution presents American Idol. There's Simon Cow's fucking shit smelling face. There you go. Yeah, it's complete. There you go. I don't have that one on PS2 also. I think I have it on 360. I think it came out on 360. And I think I do have it on that, but I don't have it on PS2. And that's what counts. Last of Us Online Pass. There you go. If you want to play Last of Us Online for PS3. I'm sure you're allowed to now. I think they just dropped that whole stupid thing. Um, Rescue the Embassy Mission for the NES. Awesome. He sent me a, what was it, pole position last time? Um, for NES, was it pole position? Uh, I can't remember. I think it was. But um, now he sent me Rescue, the Embassy Mission, which is cool. I actually, I've heard of this one. And that's cool. Thank you so much. Damn, man, I got a lot of cool shit, bro. Next. 
Gears of War 2 with a slip cover. That's all. Uh oh, it's not Gears of War 2, is it? Oh no, what is it? Oh, it's oh, it's Monsters vs. Aliens. <laughs> I got the slip cover though. That's cool. I don't have the slip cover for Gears of War 2. Let's see. Oh boy, it's Monsters vs. Aliens. But two tickets. What are these for? One is for Moonlight. Good film. Very similar to Monsters vs. Aliens. And the other one is for Manchester by the Sea. Very similar movies uh, compared to Monsters vs. Aliens. Very emotional, very, very dramatic. And uh, it's good. Thank you. Manchester by the Sea and Moonlight. Uh, that's a double feature. So there you go, Monsters vs. Aliens. I watched this right before I watched Manchester by the Sea. And then Moonlight. Next is a s the best of sticks. Look at that. Is it really sticks though? It is. Oh, it is. But he gave me a a, a thing of five bubble gum. A stick of five bubble gum. I get it. Oh wait, no. Cruel World the Ginger. Oh no, it's not. It's not fucking stick. <laughs> Cruel World the Ginger Dead Man Scarecrow and Disturbed. We actually talked about this C uh, DVD, and I talked about Scarecrow. I think, didn't I? And I told you about. Yeah, I think this is the one. The Scarecrow movie I talked about. Uh, we had a, a Skype call where we talked about these. And I, t I told you about this terrible movie. I don't know if this is the same movie. But um, it's a, a part of a series of really bad Scarecrow movies. And I told you about like the ninja fight scene between two Scarecrows towards the end. It was hilarious. Ginger Dead Man's a, per a perfect movie. Uh, is the one you said was one of the worst things ever? Disturbed? I can't remember. Or is it Cruel World? It's either one of those. But um, that's cool. Thank you. And I got a stick of five bubble gum. Cool. <laughs> ginger, ginger Dead Man. The best of sticks. They made Ginger Dead Man, as you know. Alright, next is... Oh, it's one of those demo things. Uh, network. Oh no, it's a network adapter startup disc for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I never actually really had the PS2. Um, uh, wait, hold on. Is this new? I think it, yeah, it's new. Um, I never had the uh, PS2 online thing, really. I, I did, but it wasn't mine. It, it, it was weird. Like, I, I mean, it, it was weird. I, di I did play online. Like, I played so common shit. But uh, I never had it personally myself. What are these? Whoa. Hold on. I'll put those in there, whatever those are. I want to look at these first. Oh, cool. Oh, it's, uh, it's, um... That game, uh, Dead by Daylight. Look at this little art cards for Dead by Daylight. Some of the killers. That guy's kind of cool, or girl, I guess. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, uh, I, don't I don't. I don't judge. Whatever you are. All right. Oh, there you go. That's really cool. I actually haven't played Dead by Daylight yet, but the the killers in this game are really cool looking. Uh, I know they just whether they just get Freddy Krueger or Leatherface or both. I think. I don't know. Next is, uh, oh, four Disney movies for just a dollar. This is a rip-off, one of the biggest scams ever. I can't believe shit like this still exists. And I could be wrong, but I think the provider of this, uh, it's not, I don't think it's really Disney that provides this. It's someone else that's affiliated with Disney. Uh, I could be wrong, but I think they, um, didn't they just recently get, like, bankrupt or closed down or something like that? Um, I can't remember. But there you go. Thought I heard news about that. Oh, my God, a bunch of stuff. Here's... Project Lux for the PlayStation VR. Never heard of it. It is a limited run games game though. That's coming. And uh, this one is World End Econo Economics. Can't freaking read. From Spicy Tales. And it's another another uh, limited run game. game. So that's kind of cool. Um, what is this? Hold on. Here I'll look at that in a second. Uh, what is this? Viper C Copper Vacuum? There you go. It's a bookmark. I don't know. You can use it as a bookmark. Yeah. It's not a bookmark, but you can use it as one. Um, Dreadnought, which I, isn't that a free-to-play game? Um, claim your Dreadnought Hunter Pack on PS4. Uh, that's cool. There you go. Dreadnought. Uh, oh, actually, I think I, I have this, actually. This thing. Because I ordered something from Fan Gamer, and I got this. Um, Retro City Rampage. You get to make like the little guy from Rep Retro City Rampage. You also get a button and a couple other cool little things. Uh, this is a fan gamer thing. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, isn't that fan gamer? That's the logo. Um, that's cool. It even has a number on it. I don't know where the one I had went. 
I think I put it in my closet. <laughs> what is this? Please park only in marked stalls. This ticket is not valid for in slash out parking. Parking fee. Sixteen dollars. There you go. And uh oh here's a days gone card. Oh they still do that card thing. Didn't they do this for years where you have to like go to certain booths to get cards or whatever? Um, or am I wrong about that? Didn't they do that for a little while? That's cool. So you get a get a little uh um Sam Whitwer. There you go. That's the guy that plays whoever the main character of Days Gone is. Uh, which I, I'm wondering when the freak that game comes out. Alright, next. Oh, he sent me some new action figures. He got Bart as Bartman. That's Bartman, right? I don't know. I'm not really a, a Simpsons aficionado, but I will keep that in the background. Here, let's see. Oh, no, I'm running out of space. I'm going to have to make room later for these guys. You'll see them in a future video. Oh, here's a... Oh, boy, it's him. It's him in, in the movie. It didn't show him his little dick, though. Oh, that's upsetting. So, there you go. That doesn't make noise. Is that the thing that's been making noise the entire time? I don't know. It sounds a little too low for it to be that. Next is... The fuck is this? Is that Gumby? Some Gumby shit going on? I remember stuff that looked like this when I was a kid. What? What is? What even is that? That looks like a dick. All right. First of all, this looks like the balls, like really fucked up looking balls, and that's the dick. This isn't good. Where'd you put this? Huh? What'd you do with this loophole? Huh? Is this dirty? Is this unwashed? I'm not touching this anymore, you dirty man. All right. Next. Oh, it's Robot Chicken from Robot Chicken. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know they made little figures of that. I don't know how I'm going to get it. Oh, his leg's broken. Like a poor little guy. I mean, he's barely held together as it is. Next is... Oh, it's Stewie. Hey, hey, fat man. Whatever. He's a, he's a little... He's a little... He's a little guy. He's a sailor. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, oh, my God. Oh, here's another Game Boy Advance game. Finding Nemo! Hell, yeah. Oh, here's a game, really, GameStop little keychain. They were selling these for a dollar at their GameStop. I mean, I'm sorry, a dollar, a cent. Excuse me. Dude, that's way, I, I overestimated that. Uh, uh, one, one penny they were selling this. GameStop, we buy your games and rip you the fuck off. That's weird. I don't know why they would put that on their own keychain. All right, there you go. Thank you. Who the fuck are you? You look familiar. What are you? I'm trying to figure out. You know, a lot of times they put the name of whatever the figures are from on the bottom of their feet. But uh, I can't tell. Who's that from? Who's that guy? Who is he? Who he be? Let me know. <laughs> Who he be? Let me know. Oh shit. Is this one of those? Uh, yeah, it's one of those packs for. Uh, oh, wh which one is this for? It's one of those. Uh, Rechargeable packs for something. I don't know what this one is for exactly. Maybe it's a Game Boy Advance. No, nah, it's a little too big for a Game Boy Advance. Huh. Maybe it's. I mean, it might just be for. A, yeah, it might be for an old Game Boy. I've seen these before. I think it's for an old Game Boy. I could be wrong though. Uh, that's really cool if it is because I do have an old Game Boy and uh, doesn't have a back to it. So this would actually work out very well if it is for that. That's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh, here's the uh, is the scientist from Robot Kit Chicken, is it? I'm not a big Robot Chicken fan myself. I, I, I liked the first season. Then I couldn't get back into it after that. But um, that's cool. That's him about to pull the whatever lever. To the whatever lever. <laughs> here's, a, oh, here's some cards for Guns of Icarus Alliance. Or Alliance? Yeah, no, it's Alliance. Here's another one, Guns of Icarus. And uh, here's another one, Guns of Icarus. There you go. We're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Wow, there's a lot of shit in this box. Oh my god. Here's a couple more Game Boy Advance games. Here's a Treasure Planet, which I love that movie. I don't know about the game. I don't think I ever played the game. Uh, I did for the consoles. It was like some. It was really slow. It was like a strategy game or something. It, it was really bad. Uh, and this one is. Oh yeah, Spy Kids Challenger! Cool. There you go. My Game Boy Advance collection has grown. 
What is this? Oh, Brawlhalla. Look at this. Oh wait, hold on. I don't want. To, I don't want to give away that code. But there's a pack of cards in there. That's really cool. Brawlhalla was actually kind of fun. We played a little bit of that. Oh, there's just one card. That's cool. Look at that. It doesn't have a card on it. Legend skin. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. I need to stop saying thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. What the shit? What is going on here? Here's Spider-Man from Spider-Man 3 with his stupid Hershey skin. Uh, and he he put this in there and he shoots it out of his dick. Why did they... they oh, ho, whoa, he shoots it out of his dick. It, even the way he looks before it has it in there, that looks fucked up. What is going on? Ugh, I don't like the feeling of this little cloth. Ugh, it makes my fingers feel weird. Um, it makes my fingers feel weird. Here you go. Oh, you want some 3D? Here you go. Boom. Oh, shit. Wait, let me try you. Oh! Did you flinch? Cool. Thank you. I'll be in the background of a lot of videos now. Uh, oh, here's the robot chicken foot. Maybe he broke off in uh, shipping. Maybe I'll try to glue that together. Um, here's more Guns of Icarus cards. I'll add that to all the cards that... Um... Oh, shit. You get, a, you get a Taco Bell thing. Look at that. You get a free taco? No, it just says thank you. No, you get a free seasoned beef crunchy taco. Anyway, I had all these cards to uh, the Gears of War 4 cards that Adrian gave me uh, like a week ago. Look at that free, free crunchy taco. Wait, hold on. When did it expire? 2014. I'll bring it in, see what happens. You know, we'll go from there. Uh, I just, I'm sorry. I also should uh, admit I just came out of the shower. So, what you're seeing is my hair drying. <laughs> So that's why it's, it's getting worse and worse as the video goes on. I really need to get a haircut. It looks horrible. Anyway, here's all the Guns of Icarus cards. That's cool. All right. Now we're getting really down to the degree. Last Game Boy Advance game is Piglet's Big Game. Not movie. Game. There you go. Big Piglet fan right here. Look at this. I'm actually, a lot of people don't know this. I'm Piglet's father. Right here. Me and Piglet. Wait, what the shit? Here's a Cinemark reward thing. It's for Neighbors, the movie. Obviously. <laughs> Not your actual neighbor. But uh, that's cool. I actually enjoyed the first Neighbors. Never saw a sequel. I heard it was a sequel to a comedy. So, you know how that goes. Um, oh, here's Abra turning into Abracadabra. I'm, I'm sorry, Cadabra. That's how, that's Abracadabra is what, is what you do when you combine both of those Pokemon names. There you go. There's Abra. There's Kadabra. There you go. Bam. Here's a. Oh, it's, is this metal? Here's a little thing for Guitar Hero. Looks like it's supposed to be a stand for a character. Has one of those little peg things. So. Um. Oh, here's a clothing clothesline. <laughs> there you go. Put that over here. Uh, there you go. Ow, that fucking hurts. I'll get through the pain. Uh, what is it? Register and vote dot org for <laughs> it fucking hurts. Next gen climate. Why am I doing this? Uh, co co oh God, fuck. I can't even talk. That hurts. I don't even know why I did that. I felt bad because I don't have as much stuff I'm wearing like I did with Adrian. Uh, Adrian's box. But, uh, cu -cu -cu cucumber. I don't know what the fuck that is, but that's cool. What's so cuckoo about him, huh? Is he crazy? He's crazy. He's nuts. Wait, hold on. What is this? It's a it's a pick from Minecraft, but it's also a little IGN keychain. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Not a big fan of IGN themselves, but you know, I'll represent them. That's fine. I'll put this on my actual keys. I'll put the uh, the other keychain I got too. Oh shit! There's a penny. Thank you. Add that to the funds. <laughs> There's a, a bunch of stickers for a game called DJ Max, I think. There you go. From those guys. Kind of cool. Here's a the Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Oh, shit. Wait, what? What? Preview free movies invites you and a guest to private screening of the upcoming feature film, The Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Wait, so you saw this? Because I didn't even know it was coming out until like yesterday when I watched the trailer. And you saw it. 
two months ago? You must RSVP to be admitted free pre Really? What the fuck? 2017. What the fuck? Really? So wait, the movie's done already? I got, I'm assuming it's a... Yeah, it's it's, prob it's probably not done. But it's just a guest preview. Did you actually see this movie? Please let me know. You don't need to, you don't need to tell anybody else. But maybe, I don't know. Maybe he got this from someone else. I don't know. Maybe he got it and just didn't see it. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even know that movie was coming out until yesterday. <laughs> and you might have saw it almost three months ago. All right. No more things in the box. There's a lot of shit. I don't even know how you fit all this stuff in the box. Uh, <laughs> here's a little Breaking Bad pen. Yo, bitch. Gatorade me, bitch. I love that. I love that pen. Uh, here's a uh, thing to keep up something or something. I don't know. And here's another pin, last one. Oh, I already, I already showed this. It's the next gen climate thing. And uh, that's it. Wow, holy shit. This unboxing almost went for an hour. There was a lot of shit in here. And I wanted to give everything its due time. So I apologize for it for being so long, but holy shit, tons of DVD. I have shit everywhere. So much stuff, so many games, so many little things, so many cool things. I, I appreciate it a ton, Loophole. Thank you for sending me this stuff. This is really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with half of this. I'm definitely going to, first of all, this is probably, besides the game itself, which was a really cool surprise, and, like, some of the other games, this is this is really cool, the, the accounting signed by Justin Roiland. Um, that's really awesome. But, yeah, no, the game, where's the game? It's right here. Thank you so much for Next Machina. That's really awesome. Uh, thank you. That must have cost you a little bit. Um, so I appreciate it. That's really awesome. Thank you so much, Loophole. I, I I loved everything in this. I still don't know what this is. What are you? Is this from Gumby? It looks like a Gumby thing. I don't remember, though. I'm not a big Gumby fan. But uh, there you go. Thank you so much. So many secrets. So many little things. Please tell me if I missed anything, too. Because if I did, I would totally make another video talking about what I missed. But, uh... That's really awesome. Thank you so much. I have a lot of stuff to add to my collection. Um, I don't know what else to say, but thanks, bro. That was cool. That's cool, bro. There you go. Thank you. And until next time, goodbye. Mwah. That's for Loophole. Only he can accept that. Goodbye. Wow. Fuck. I love you.